Let's talk about using tiles and templates on your ink devices. Yes, as you start to use these ink devices and you're exploring the benefits of digital note taking, you're probably going to ask yourself, can I start to pull in different templates or create my own pages by utilizing tiles so that I can have structure in my notes? Yeah, maybe you want to be able to collect more meaning notes or maybe you want to use the Cornell method so that you have more structure in your note taking. And you can't just do that with the templates that are loaded on the Remarkable or other ink devices from Factory. Well, today we're going to show you guys how you can import tiles and templates in your device and utilize them. And I'm going to show you a few that are my personal favorite and how I utilize them. First and foremost, when I use the Remarkable, and this is consistent with all ink devices, is you have the ability to have kind of your space where you collect all your notes. And with these devices, we can go ahead and we can create folders beyond just notebooks. Well, for me, what I do is I obviously have a folder for my planner, but I also have folders for my projects, my sermon notes, my life balance, my meetings, as well as my Cornell notes. And I'm just going to take you into a couple of these and show you how they work. Now, one thing to note about our planning system and all these different templates and tiles, some are available in portrait, they're also available in landscape, but if you use tiles, you can make the view however you want. And later in this video, I'm going to show you how you customize your tiles to build your own pages. So let's jump into life balance. This is one of my personal favorite tiles. Now, what I will do is I will import tiles a number of times so that I have duplicates that I can work with and I'll show you that when we get into the meeting pages what I mean. But with the Remarkable Paper Pro I have the ability to jump in and start to use these tiles and templates for my own benefit and one thing I really like is the life balance tile. It gives me the ability to go through and kind of assess where I'm at in life. If it be my financials, my career, where I'm at with my health, myself, my relationships and being able to kind of outline what not only my own goals or intentions are, but what it is that I have to do over the next 30 days to 90 days to really make a positive effect on the way I want to live my life. And when I go into here and utilize some of the new features like the color, I can really start to make a real awesome impression on how this looks for me inside these tiles and notes. But how did I do that? Well, I'm going to go back to my root menu here and I talked about using those folders. And one thing that often comes up is Cornell notes. Now, Cornell is a very powerful note taking method and I absolutely love it because it allows me to not only take notes, but then to categorize those notes and then write a summary about what it was that I took. And with the Remarkable, that's gonna be really powerful. And it's gonna allow you to browse through your notes and find what it is that you need on a much faster basis. It also helps you group things. Sometimes when I'm in a meeting, I might write down topics. And as we know, a lot of times when we're in meetings, the topics seem to jump around and we seem to move throughout things in the meeting that don't necessarily untack. But with that, I can go ahead and use your Cornell notes and I can have different subject and cues of where I want to go. I can also write notes about the summary. And what's really powerful about this is I can customize this page, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. But if you know anything about the Cornell method, this is gonna be something you wanna consider. But what happens if I want more than one note? Well, what you can easily do is when you are in your desktop, you can either use the desktop app or you can use the web browser app. And you can simply take the templates or those tiles that you've created and simply drop and drag them into your My Files and they'll upload to the cloud and then they'll download to your device. You can do that with other ink devices as well. For example, Onyx Books has a web app that you can use that pushes the tiles and templates over. And Supernote has the same thing where you can go ahead and you can upload to your device as well. So what I'll do is I'll upload multiple copies. And when I'm on the device itself, let's just say if I go into my meeting notes, for example, I can come into meeting here and I have all these meeting pages. Well, I can tap and hold on this device. I have the ability to duplicate it as well as rename it. And I can also move it. Well, if I only put one template on a device, I can go ahead and duplicate it, and that gives me the ability to have a copy of that template. Well, then I can tap and hold on that copy, and this time I want to rename it. And with the keyboard, I'm just gonna put meeting with Tom. Meeting with Tom, and hit save. And from here, I can go ahead and open up that meeting page. And now I have the ability to take notes within that meeting. So I can go ahead and sketch out my thoughts and ideas. I can write out the agenda. I can see the attendees and I can take notes. I can also, right from here, go ahead and add a new page. And with this page, I can not only handwrite in this page, but I can also choose 
to type. And that's one thing that's really powerful about utilizing these templates is you can actually expand on them in different ways if it be through writing or typing. And that's also one thing really powerful about using the landscape method is that I can easily then put my device into the portfolio and type with it in that landscape mode. One more tile that I wanna show you is the sermon tile. And it's kind of the same thing goes into place here. A lot of times when I'm in worship, I like to be able to take notes of what I'm hearing. So not only that I can help process what's being taught to me or what we're going through in scripture, but also that when I leave, I can reflect on it and carry that ministry throughout the week. I can follow along in the Bible verses to learn more about what it is that the pastor's teaching within a week. And this tile, this template does an amazing job to do that. So let's talk about how you take and create these tiles. Well, first off, when it comes to importing these tiles, if you purchase them from our website or from other outlets, you're gonna to wanna to get a PDF file. You're gonna take that PDF file and you're gonna log into your browser. Now, if it be this device, the Remarkable, Onyx Books, or Supernote, or any other web-based portal that you're able to access your e-ink device, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and upload that PDF. Now, in this case, I encourage you to create folders for these different templates that you're uploading them in. So that way, when you look back at the device, you have a folder for your meetings, you have a folder for your projects, folder for your sermon notes, and etc. You can also create folders within each of the folders. So maybe you want to have sermon notes, but you want to have your notes organized by year. So you could have 2024, 2025, 2026, and etc. And from there, you can go ahead and drop in your templates. Now, you could also create a template folder and drop all your templates in there, and then from your device, duplicate those templates and then use the device to move them to the respective folder. That is one thing you could do as well. But now what this allows you to do is if you are someone that needs more meeting pages or more note pages or more project pages, you have the flexibility to do that within the device itself and use the ecosystem to build out the storage structure of how you're saving those notes. And you can use the files and folders as a means of creating kind of like a library of content, just like you would a filing cabinet. The folders are like the file drawers and the files are like the pages within the folders of the notes that you're taking. Now let's talk about customization, how you utilize tiles. With every tile, you get a default template, but with tiles, you also get the elements to be able to make your own. Now there's an entire video that is linked right here in the description that you can go to. We use an app called UPDF. You can also use Canva as well as any other PDF annotation app, and you can kind of build these elements yourself. But the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and start with a blank canvas and then review the different elements that we have. And these are all PNG files. They're like digital stickers. You can easily select the different ones you want. So for example, if you're using the Cornell notes, maybe you don't wanna have the lines throughout. Maybe you wanna have an open left margin section where you can go ahead and take notes. Simply copy that PNG file and paste it on your artwork board. And then go about continuing to build out the layout that you choose. Once you've built that layout, now you can go ahead and export and save that file as a PDF. Now from there, you go back to what we just talked about before we got into customization and you can upload that template. This is really powerful because now you can utilize tiles to build out your own productivity tools. Maybe you wanna have a better handle on your workflow. Maybe you wanna mix different tiles together. One thing I find that's really powerful is people will take Cornell notes in project tiles, in meeting tiles, and they'll put them together and they'll make their own dashboard. So now maybe they have a meeting within inside a project and they want to track their timeline of progress over top of their action steps that they have to do and still be able to take notes, they're able to do that with these tiles. So if you are someone in the ink space and you're looking at using templates and tiles, this is the way I recommend you do so. If you wanna learn more about our planning system, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And if you like this kind of content, give me a follow and like and share if you have others that might be interested. I'm Brandon Bonifer, Godspeed. Anybody in the right mind probably still watching this thinking, Jesus guy is